Hi, I'm Matthew. Today I'm going to show you a different approach to the man in the middle attack. I'm going to intercept some pictures from Facebook. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm using two hosts as usual. Uh, this is the virtual machine, it's Ubuntu. That's the client. I was going to browse some photos on Facebook, and the rest of the screen. Uh, as you can see is the actual Linux, my house. There's also a switch involved in the thing. So yeah, now I'm going to start uh, the man in the middle attack using SNAT. Mm, I think the usual, the source IP, this is my IP, the gateway IP, uh, victims IP, interface and delay between the packets are being sent. So as it is in this command, as you can see, Snap will give you some output, some details of what he's doing. Also, to make things working, uh, we need to start IP forwarding, as usual, the thing. So enter as well. So that's fine. Uh, now, just to show you. Uh, da -da 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 just to show you the directory when I'm going to have the photos, when I'm going to intercept them, where they're going to be saved. Um, before that, just to show you that the internet is working on the client and Ubuntu, for example, this website, yeah, it kind of works, no major issues. Um, so now, what well, it's attached in the minute, so it works, so that's all fine. Now I'm going to start to intercept. Well, uh, as you can see, there's nothing in the directory temp. So now I'm gonna start the command that will start intercepting, and it's called Driftnet. There's also a second tool, uh, TCP it extract. It's also quite good if you're working on files dumps. It's awesome. It just extracts all the images from the file and supports GIFs and PNG files, I think. Okay, so let's have a go. Let's start this one then. Uh, minimize it. And now I'm going to log in to Facebook. Uh, apparently, you might not know this, but this um, man in the middle attack uh, doesn't intercept any SSL connections. So if I try to log in, uh, I won't be notified about any uh, certificate problems. So it's quite cool. Now, so the user doesn't see that something's going on actually. He doesn't know that I'm sniffing him or intercepting packets whatsoever. whatsoever. Maybe I'm not getting the actual passwords and usernames, but that's fine. I'm not looking for that. Well, the user logged in and he 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 sees she she sees her profile regardless. And let's have a look at the pictures. Uh, I, I uploaded some random stuff from the internet, and yeah, let's browse them, have a look, pretend that th these are the photos that my friends uploaded from the last party, and whatever. And just browsing them as usual. I can make a comment blah 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 tag if there is anyone there this one's quite cool actually <laughs> I like this one da -dum -da -dum. Line out. Uh, yeah some, some other ones uh, what's this one about let me see emails cool yeah so basically there are, there are some things just browsing normal user thing nothing special and now just go to the temp directory and look what we got here lots of images lots of different ones and yeah come on so as you can see uh, I've intercepted lots of images there are absolutely loads of them and I should find the ones that actually I've uh, browsed as you can see, seen before these are the small ones One more time. Yeah, these are the small ones, and it just grabs any image it finds, actually. So, 
everything that I clicked on, everything that it downloaded, it just filtered it and it's just there. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there is also a way to protect uh, yourself against such an attack. You just need some sort of software that will just uh, detect any ARP case changes and that should be it. it these are the better quality ones. So yeah, it, intercepting is quite cool and the person doesn't know anything, so yeah, quite cool thing and quite dangerous at the same time. Uh, it, it violates your privacy. Uh, to protect yourself you need some sort of an ARP watch utility on your machine. Uh, on Windows I think it could be Win, Win ARP watch, something like that. Never tried actually, never needed to, but hey. Yeah, that's the entire demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!